I know I mentioned this in, in the review, but after I've seen Oppenheimer, or well, actually, before I've seen Oppenheimer and after I've seen Barbie, uh, I bought a couple of games for the PS, well, two for the PS3 and one for the PS2. One of those PS3 games I'd already played, it was Batman Arkham Origins, and this would have been my third time playing it free, I think. And I did that, it's over, I went on to the other PS3 game, which is something I hadn't, well, hadn't properly played before, I did own this game, like, fucking years ago, but, Ailer, I just gave up, like, at the very start, or something, or my disc wasn't working, I don't remember, either way, technically I played the game, I just didn't actually touch the controller. <laughs> You know, the cutscene, once the cutscene was over, I didn't play the game. I nearly done the game. I forgot to do a uh, beginning review, I forgot to do a middle review, so... I'm just gonna wait till I beat the game, because it will only be like a day or two until then. And then I'll just do beginning, middle, and end in one video. <laughs> anyway. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem or as I'm just gonna call it in the video TMNT 2023 part well 23 me. Universally positive ratings Excuse me I seen it in the cinema Jackie Chan Who would right, yeah uh, right I, I kind of, I won't be surprised by anything here because I already seen it in the credits. Because even though we didn't know there was a post credit scene, we just waited anyway. And it's not like something we agreed upon, we just didn't stand up or anything. Anyway, Seth Rogen, John Cena, Ice Cube, Post Malone, okay, Post Malone, I didn't know. Rose Byrne, Paul Rudd, John Carlo Esposito. My Rudolph. I James Marsden didn't get credit. Neither did Steve Blim or Dylan O'Brien, so I don't think so. Uh, Hannibal Buress did get credit. I seen literally one second of the trailer for this after we came out of some other film. I think it might have been John Wick, maybe. And I went, yes. I want to see this because it's that animation style, you know, the same one that the Spider-Verse movies and Puss in Boots 2 used. And I thought, this is going to be a guaranteed success. But then once I actually sat down, I started to, to worry a bit. But it is a fantastic film. Like, it's not too uh, boomerang, boomer but there are a couple things where it's like, uh, they... They bring up BTS because the the writers, I guess, think that BTS. It's, Seth Rogen wrote it actually. Um, I guess Seth thought, oh, the kids like BTS, so we're just gonna put a bit in there. And then they they mentioned Attack on Titan as well, which that was even worse. But then at the end. I should have said this video will contain spoilers. At the end. Uh, like, oh. Uh, this is actually just like IoT because the bad guy is like Titan size. And his weak spot is on the back of his neck. Anyway, I think the only other thing I have to say about it is that I like the way that they got actual teenagers to voice the teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, whereas, as, as far as I know, in every other version of it, whether it's live action or animated, it's always adults who are closer to their 50s than they are the teen, their teens. Although, when I first saw the trailer, and really the only things I saw were the bit where Donatello was like, yeah, he's, he's gonna die, and also the bit where one of them gets stabbed, I forget who. Hearing their voices, I thought they were kids, but when, when you actually see the movie and you're listening to them non-stop, you realise actually these 
voice actors are actually teenagers. Like, it's not eight-year-olds as I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to sound like that guy from Gumball. Uh, his, like, Darwin. I thought they were going to sound like Darwin, but they, they don't. The they sound... Their age. Instead of being too young or too old. Also... I'm not a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have never seen anything that they've done before. I've never seen the Michael Bay movies or the Nickelodeon show or the animated, or the, sorry, the live action movie from the 90s or anything like that. I only seen this because of the anima animation style and I don't regret it.